Hi, I'm Milo Dennison. And I'm Kev Bamboo, and this is Rip It Up. Rip It Up is a topical show about life impacting creatives around the world today. Yeah, and oh, hang on. Um, I think we're just getting word that we're going to a public service announcement and we've got a message from the Queen. The Queen? Wow. Yeah, we've got to go live. We've got to cut right there now. Good evening. Before I answer any questions, I want to make two announcements. Firstly, you will be aware that my son, Andrew, has put the royal finances in great jeopardy with the settlement for something he didn't do with someone he'd never met. I'm trying to raise money. For example, this is not my real crime. I sold the original to cash converters. This is a cheap replica bought off of Amazon. I did consider selling one of Andrew's kidneys, but then I realised that Andrew's organs being in other people is what got us in this mess in the first place. So I am asking each of my subjects to donate one pound to the GoFundMe page, Rehabilitate Andrew. One pound is easily affordable, even to pensioners such as myself, and it will save me having to sell the yacht or take in a lodger. Secondly, I want to tell you all that I was relying on Charles to feed me the answers to the questions through an earpiece. Unfortunately, he said he wouldn't do it unless I abdicated. So he can fuck off. I'll say what I want to. Thank you. Hi, I'm Milo Dennison. I'm Kev Bamboo, and this is Rip It Up. Rip It Up is a topical show about life impacting creators around the world today. Yes, and on tonight's show, we're amazed to be joined by royal appointment. It's only the Queen. But yeah, this is expected to be a very blue edition of Rip It Up. But before we meet the Queen, Milo, you, you were set to be a prince, wasn't you, only a few weeks ago? Um, is this why the Queen wanted to appear on Rip It Up? Yes, yes, to reprimand me for no longer uh, properly being the prince uh, because I had to step away from my role as the prince and uh, she wasn't <laughs> happy about that. Well, I'm not going to ask why you was asked to step away from the role. So, um... uh, Okay, well, with that, I am ready to introduce to our guests, lords, ladies, gents, everyone between, please welcome the queen uh, to rip it up. And it is great to have you here. And yeah. and could you please tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became the queen? What a bloody stupid question. Good God, man, I, did you not go to school? I don't write the script, I just read it. Don't interrupt! <laughs> I'm the queen, do not interrupt me! You know your place! Sorry. You're for one thing. Okay, so... How did I become the queen? What a bloody stupid question that is. I mean, good God, man, did you not go to school? Oh, you went to one of those comprehensives, didn't you? Yeah. I'm American. It's a public education system there. <laughs> yes, of course. Or, or something along, you know, public something anyway. Uh, anyway um, it wasn't exactly a case of working my way to the top or anything. No. It was actually quite lucky for all of us because... Uncle Edward abdicated to go chasing his fancy woman back to America, funnily enough. Who knows what would have happened if he hadn't? I was never quite sure whose side he was on in the war. Nothing to do with ancestry. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's just say we may have ended up with a swastika flying at the pace. Anyway, Peter got the gig. And he didn't keep me waiting like I've kept Charles waiting. Thank God I'll still be waiting now. Um, the rest, as uneducated people say, is history. Uh, it really, yeah, it really is. And, and Elizabeth, and may, may I call you Elizabeth? Well, what, what else would you call me, Brenda? Well, you, I mean, Your Majesty, you, you know, it's the, we, are, we are in royal surroundings. Yes, here, right. so, you, don't, uh, you don't look like you've got enough class to be able to call me Your Majesty. <laughs> so, yes, Elizabeth will do. Oh, all right then. Okay. Well, we've you, you can the tell bar. by his accent he doesn't have enough class, that, that Midlands <laughs> yes, accent. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. Well, he was comprehensive as well, didn't he? I, 
I didn't even go to school. Well, Elizabeth, now the bar's lowered. There we go. So I really want to know who is who is your most favourite child? Hmm. Don't hold back. That's a difficult question, actually. Um, definitely one of mine. Um, no, um, Macaulay Culkin was quite cute in his day. I don't really like today's children. They don't get their place. Sorry. So Macaulay Culkin, sort of. Wow. Uh, geez, Liz, I actually kind of thought it would have been Camilla. Camilla, my child! <laughs> I know we're in, I, I know there's a lot of inbreeding, but Camilla is not my child. We don't go that far. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now, Milo. You're I guess so. Off to the Tower of London, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I am oh, curious because you do have a lot of houses, uh, Your Highness. How do you manage to keep all of those houses so clean and tidy? Sheer hard work, dear boy. I know you probably don't mm. know the meaning of the word, but mm. sheer hard work. My cleaners never get a day off. Not if they want to be able to keep themselves warm anyway, especially these days. Um, although I don't whip them like Philip used to, for which they are very grateful. Well, most of them are anyway. Next question. Well, the thing is, the thing is, Queen, um, we're really, really intrigued. Um, this, this, this is like a double question, really. It's like, if you have any tips for anyone out there, especially our viewers, and maybe ourselves as well as how, how would you, um, you know, how do you become a royal? And also, how would you date one? How to become a royal? Well, being inbred helps, for sure. How to date a royal? Um, well, really, I refer you to my previous answer. Be one. We have tried introducing new blood. You know, like that... Um, toe-sucking ginger, Fergie. And then the ginger curse struck again when Harry Hewitt was adopted by Charles. And look what happened there. <laughs> now, no, I, it's not funny. I don't know why you're laughing. Now, no one in my family is racist, not in the least. But Philip used to refer to Harry and his wife as the roulette couple. You know, red and black. Ooh. Well, he was oh. nearly 100 years old, a victim of his upbringing, unlike my children, none of whom asked what colour the kids would be, obviously, because there's no racists at the palace. Good Lord, good Lord, no, 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 we know better than that. Oh, all right. Absolutely, never. <laughs> any at all. Um, you were expecting that, wasn't you? You no. were a bit I, uh, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Milo, I think... I think you've right. got something to ask the queen. Yeah, well, uh, that's some uh, great tips there. We'll take that to heart. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yes, you haven't got much chance, really, have you? I don't. I definitely don't, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but um, but uh, have the qualifications? No, <laughs> no, wrong ancestry. I mean, wrong country. No, nothing. I, I've been told on occasion, and this is not me, um, but I've been told on occasion that I look like Prince Harry. Um, it's the beard. But, but he's a, he's a Hewitt, isn't he? So, I mean, that's, that's yes, quite difficult. Yes, you're definitely yeah. disqualified. Move <laughs> <laughs> to California or Canada or wherever they are immediately. Uh, okay, well, that's some great tips uh, for us on how to become a royal. But uh, I've heard you're a bit of a musician. So would you like to perform a song for us, Your Highness? No, not really, but I will do. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so... Before I sing this song, um, a little introduction to it, because uh, it, it, I actually, well, Philip wrote this a few years ago. Um, you may remember that, that Christmas speech where I sat in front of a girl piano, worth more than most houses, saying how we're all in it together. And a lot of plebs got very, very angry. And it upset me a little. So Philip wrote me a song. And it went like this. I'm not going to play the instrumental part because copyright and all that. So, um, um, so I'm just going to do the lyrics. You'll have to imagine the music. It's not very good anyway. You know, it's modern. Um, okay, so. Take, take it away. 
Wealth is called a girl piano. Watch one flaunt one's girl piano. You flinching, my love. One subject's use food banks, works in hours, contracts as one gives thanks, then preaches unity. They'll never have the style of those born into royalty, but wave flags and cheer when another one is born. Wealth is called a girl piano. Watch one flaunt, one's girl piano. One's own keyboard from 1856 is the ideal way to make them feel sick as rough sleepers are moved on to the tune of Here Comes the Royal Bride, Wow, is Cold. A girl piano. Watch one flaunt, one's girl piano. Wealth is called a girl piano. If you notice, sound like button songs keep repeating themselves. Watch <laughs> one flaunt, one's girl piano. One subjects use food banks, works in your hours, contracts as one gives thanks, then preaches unity. They'll never have the style of those born into royalty, but wave flags and cheer when another one is born. My soul keyboard from 1856 could feed the starving and cure the sick. This is what you could have had with royal bloodlines. Pull together, wave your flags, wealth is cold. Mm -hmm. Again, oh, etc., etc., etc. Move over, Diana Ross. That's what I was. Hmm. <laughs> um. Well, that, that was that was. I can tell you, that that a... very, very impressed. Do you think you'll get a recording contract? I, I, we've had a lot of musicians on this show, and I think that is the top performance out of that's all the of right them. Really? That's the right answer. That's the right answer. You keep yeah. your head thing out. <laughs> I, I think Milo is well on his way to a uh, an MBE, I think. I yeah. think he's well on his way to a nervous break time, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, you didn't know I had a sense of humor, did you? You thought I was this bare old lady that stood there glaring no, at people. No. No, I, you're, no. you're refreshingly cheeky, you majesty. <laughs> I mean, this, this is, this is uh, phenomenal. Yes. Quite, um, a, quite a that, different... Um, yeah. That is, uh, yeah, that has got to be one of our most uh, enlightening performances that we've ever had on on Rip It Up. There we go, enlightening. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, that's the word I was. Yeah, thinking. just like like your crown. You know, it was it was yes. it was bright in places, um, yeah. Yeah, full of <laughs> full of jewels. Well, um, you know, what do you get? What do you expect from Amazon? I told you already. <laughs> Understood. We we are we are understood, Your Majesty. Um, if you don't mind, I just need a drink. Um, I can, oh, no, no, uh, you, you can imagine. You are, you are the queen. <laughs> yes, I, I need a drink of Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi mm. Max. Very, oh, very right. good ah. for you. No, no sugar, all, all that they, stuff. And it, there you, know, you have it, people. The, um... And um, I'm not at all being paid to advertise it, to, you know, to, to go towards the, the, the fund for Andrew's expenses or anything. <laughs> well, there you go, people. The Queen is uh, a in good. Uh, by royal by royal approval. Oh, yeah. The Queen <laughs> drinks. <laughs> I'm getting my products mixed up. Well, this time I thought it was tea, but it's Pepsi yes, Max. Like, it's Liz making first quenching. That's what it is. <laughs> by royal appointment and approval, the Queen indeed does drink Pepsi Max. So Pepsi, if you're watching, you know who to sponsor. Yes, um, and you know what you know what GoFundMe page to 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 contribute to as well. So, Your Majesty, um, we now have two mini features that have followed your absolutely incredible parody on Diana Ross's uh, classic. So this is our feature called <laughs> Ask an American. I didn't that was a Diana Ross song. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I even said at the end, move over, Diana Ross. Are you <laughs> deaf? I just, uh, yeah, I apparently, um, <laughs> <laughs> goodness gracious me, 
I mean, how could you not know? I, it I, I, it, 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 it sounded, it sounded it just like her. I, I think it was so much better than than her her voice that that's why yes, I didn't yes, recognize I it. Yes, I agree. I think that's what it was. <laughs> so we have a mini feature, Ask an American, where you, the Queen, now you get to ask. Milo, um, a totally unscripted and surprise question. So, um, Your Majesty, take it away. Okay. Well, I'm going to approach this a little bit differently. I'm going to say three words, and I want you, Milo, to tell me what they mean and what language I'm speaking, okay? Okay. So the three words are Vehem, Nilakai, and Masai. What they mean and what language you're speaking. Yes. So that is clearly elfish, and yeah. it is chicken, yes, monkey, elfish. anchovy in elfish. That is a ridiculous answer. And I will tell you the real answer, shall I? Yes. The real answer is the words are vacuum, <laughs> unlucky, and unusual. So oh, why do you butcher the Queen's fucking English by removing the letter U out of some words and leaving them in in others? Why not take them out of our whole damn language and invent a new fucking language? <laughs> I see. Um, that got you, didn't it? Got you, it good proper. It did. It did. Yes. I, um, I I will I, have a talk <laughs> with the people that. Uh, revise the american english language next yes, time yeah during our monthly meeting and uh, and have them remove the use from don't tell time. lies to the queen i can tell you're lying and, and there will be punishment <laughs> well i hope so i, I think it, i think it would be wise wise to go and uh, have that have that meeting almost straight after the show Wait, my instantly yeah. mm-hmm because collar looks better when it's spelt without the U. C O L R. It's very graceful looking. The O. No, it isn't. The O. The, the symmetry looking. of it. That just looks uneducated. You throw the U in there, and it's just—it's funny looking. Makes you want to say color. I, I think you've got something wrong with you, haven't you? <laughs> well, it depends on who you talk to. Yeah, possibly. Okay. Well, now that we've established that I don't know anything about the English language. Um, <laughs> you, I've heard, are an artist as well. And Am I fuck? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> and I heard yeah. you did a drawing of Mr. Kev Bamboo here. I did. I did. We would love to see. I bet he would. Is this, <laughs> is this, a, is this a badly drawn bamboo? Um, I don't think it's badly drawn, considering I never went to art school. Mm. I think this is absolutely brilliant. In fact, I think it's so good. I think we ought to auction it off and give the money to the Rehabilitate Andrew Fund. <laughs> so, that, yes. That would be a wise, wise decision, I think. Oh, wow. Can you just put that a little bit closer there? Uh, yes, uh, it's the eyebrows. They are very good. They're very artistic. Oh, yeah, I like they the say, name of the eyebrows. Say, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is very, um, very interesting. And kind of yeah, looks like a okay. cartoon character. It does. It looks a little bit um, tintin it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it I looks think. like Kev Bamboo. Some people would say it was a cartoon character, but I wouldn't be that mean. I would. Can you? Because uh, I've got to rate this, um, Your Majesty. Um, I'm can a you bit worried now. Can you just at the bottom as well? That makes it very valuable. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm going to chuck that on eBay afterwards. I think. Yes, I would. I thought it was. It's got to make at least one pound twenty or something like that. How um, insulting! I, I've got to, I've got to rate this, as you know, Milo, and I'm a little bit worried now because this this queen is is very very stern, and I, I really don't want to upset them. So, um, so a low mark, Your Majesty, is a good mark. A high mark is a poor mark. That's um, a bit stupid, so isn't it? It is very <laughs> stupid. It makes no, it makes no I'm sorry, I'm to the conclusion that I am being interviewed by a couple of lunatics. Yes. <laughs> It would be very, very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to give that a... Um... Actually, no, we lowered the bar at the beginning, so I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? 
And you say that's yeah. you say a high mark is a is a bad mark. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of leading towards quite poor. <laughs> now who's getting beheaded at the Tower of London? <laughs> Mr. Cat Bamboo. I imagine Ron is not amused. <laughs> I'm going to send you to Australia. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah. You're going to the penal do get, colony. Yes. Is it, do, I get, do I get a one-way ticket? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, <laughs> yes. Mm, okay. Well, gosh, that's harsh. So, my, so Milo, where can... Uh, where can you know our lovely viewers and uh, badly drawn bamboos too. If they need to. Well, viewers, if you've got a badly drawn bamboo that you think could possibly be better or worse than that of the queen, no chance can, of it being better. I don't know. Yes. I do. You can send it to Bamboo Creatives. That's at b m b o o underscore creatives on Instagram, and you might be featured on a future episode of Rip It Up. They may well indeed. Um, this this is unbelievable. To be honest, I've finally had a drawing done by the Queen. Shall, shall I um, let's let you into a secret? Oh, go go for it. Prince George drew that. Oh, now it makes oh, sense. Oh wow! Oh, yes. right, okay. Oh, I and see. he's heartbroken that you said it was rubbish. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have tried to pass it off as your own, Your Majesty. I mean, honesty <laughs> is the best policy. You don't tell me what to do. I'm the Queen. <laughs> Okay, you're my subject. You do well to remember that. I un- understood, Your Majesty. I, I do apologise. Uh, you were my so pe- silly. My peasant like behaviour. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so Milo has noticed that we've got some viewer questions for We you. do so, indeed. Uh, Milo, do you want to uh, go with the first one? I think we've got one, two, maybe, maybe three. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Uh, well, the first question is from viewer Royally Laura, who asks, <laughs> if you could still behead anyone at the Tower of London, who would it be and why? And we've already established Kev will be one of those people. So perhaps somebody I other than Kev. And I, and I think Milo is the other one <laughs> as well. So. I, 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 I actually think the answer to that is fairly obvious. Hmm. Yes, uh, yes, I think it is. Um, Harry Hewitt. Oh, wow. Poor Harry. Yes, not, not Harry a, Hewitt. Not a, not a fan, are you? Uh, you might just... Uh... Well, would you be under the circumstances? Oh, we've given that boy. And he stuck his little finger up and said, I'm going away with my wife. A man's got to do what a man's got to do, you majesty. I mean, he will follow his wife everywhere, as, as, as Milo has, has done, as I have done in the past. And as um, Uncle Edward too. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid boy. So Harry, but why? Why why Harry then? Why would that be the... Uh... Because he's so ungrateful. We took him into our family when he wasn't one of ours. We took him, he wasn't even our bloodlines. We, we took him in and we brought him up. We gave him everything. And then he stuck a middle finger up and pissed off to America or Canada or wherever he's gone. I don't really care. But it's a long way away. Ginger's I mean, <laughs> I am I'm sure that uh, he's not on your Christmas card list anymore. No. So, uh, yeah, but not. we do we do we do have another question, um, and that is so. There's so Barry Barry Two Toes asks, "What's better, a beef eater or a Toby Carvery?" I think they might be playing with you there. Uh, you might just. I, I think. I mean, he's spoken someone else's voice then. I would miss him, wouldn't he? Um, I, think it was, I think it was George trying to get out. Um, yeah, um, I think that is a, a really quite silly question because you can't eat a beef eater, can you? Well, no, this is, this is the thing. I, I think Barry's having a little, bit of a, a little bit of a play on words, though, I reckon. Yes, but I think, I think definitely a beef eater is not as good as a Toby Carvery. Definitely not. Yeah, and I've been to Toby Carvery's and, and they're bad. So, I mean, that's that's saying something as well. I, I was, went to a Toby Carvery once. Yes, it's... Um, oh, you did? Yes. Oh, well, we have, a, we I have, we have a thing, a, a mutual... We have some common ground, Your Majesty. I mean, this is amazing. Yes, I mean, I'm not proud of it. Yeah, but um, it's a long story. I mean, yes. Oh, God, it's bringing back bad memories. Okay. So I can tell you, I mean, my experience wasn't great. I did, I did want to wipe my feet when I left. So, I mean, yeah, but, um, sorry, Toby Carvery. F- Philly, 
played a practical joke on me. He told me there was this, this was a long time ago, he told me there was this fantastic new band who was so proud of the royal family that they always played the national anthem at their gigs. And he got me a ticket to go and see them, you see. And um, yes, and I went incognito. God, what a bad experience it was. Everybody was spitting at me. They knew, they knew who I was. And then the Sex Pistols played their version of God Save the Queen. And <laughs> oh God, I was so frightened. I, I fled to the nearest Toby Carvery and and yes, and they didn't think to look for me in there, so that was all right. But it's an experience I don't want to repeat. I have to say I do I, I love that song, um, Your Majesty. Oh you Majesty. would, obviously. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Your beard gives it away. And it is dead beat giveaway. Yeah, it's um, I, I can't even hide it. You know. So, um, <laughs> do, do we have another question? <laughs> Maybe one more. I think I think I think we've got time for one right. for one more. Um, so I got, hope it's a better one than the last one. It, that, well, I do because Barry. You should yeah, give Barry. me a trigger warning for that one. <laughs> Barry's, Barry's was awful. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't very clever at all, was it? So, um, Jewel, Jewel, Britan Jewel Britannia, I think this person's called. Jewel Britannia asks, is it true you're... Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> wow, hang on a minute. I, I need to take a moment here. Now, these are not my words, Your Majesty, so I'm not getting beheaded for this. Um, I, I don't think so I'm looking forward to this question. So, Jewel Britannia asks, is it true your old pussy still haunts Windsor Castle? Could you repeat that, please? I, I, I will do. Jewel Britannia asks, is it true that your pussy... No, sorry. Is it true your old pussy still haunts Windsor Castle? No. Is there any is there any truth in the uh, in the claim? No, not at all. Next question, I think, please. I, I think I think Jewel has, has their answer. Discussion of my old pussy, okay? Okay. Yeah, is this another I, triggering I, I, question, isn't it? I don't think we should linger on that one for too no, long. No, no, don't linger on my old pussy. Yeah, no, we don't don't definitely don't want to linger on that. Uh, no, you definitely don't. All right. You don't know well, where it's been. Let's let's um, let's let's get off your old pussy and move on Absolutely. to a desert island for our <laughs> desert island moments. Um, you, we've obviously heard some great dating advice from you and enjoyed your prestigious performance. But if you had to keep just one item in the world with you on a desert island, what would it be and why? Hmm. Let's think. I there are obviously a number of um, very, very precious things that I own. Um, obviously, the crying jewels, and obviously not the crying anymore because I've sold that. Um, um, I think my life size 3D photograph of Dennis Skinner, my <laughs> guilty secret. I telephoned him once and said, How about it, Dennis? Can, can I can I just say, say, Majesty, just so any of our viewers watching that who don't know who Dennis Skinner is, I mean, how would they not know who Dennis Skinner is? Dennis well, Skinner was a, was a, a very old school Labour MP and very vocal in the House of Parliament. Um, there's lots of footage of him on online of him uh, kind of uh, questioning the current prime ministers and, you know, anyway, over the years. But um, so, yeah, the Queen is... Uh, yeah, because he was, a, he was a raving lefty, you see. That's what you're trying to say. He was a raving lefty. And, you know, I just want, I wanted to try something different. You know, that, and I got quite a fascination with him. And um, as I say, I was, well, I didn't say, but I was in tears for days when I found him. I said, how about it, Dennis? And I just can't tell you what he said. It was like, he was so I'm, insulting. I'm sure, yeah. I'm Yes, there were a lot of very bad words. I'm sure he didn't hold back on his words as well. Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, Dennis Skinner. Dennis. That's what I liked about Dennis. He's a bit like Philip in that respect. He said what he thought. 
Yeah. yeah I didn't, it doesn't never, matter. Never, never towed the party line kind of thing, you know, just, just went with his own. Yes, he was, he was very much like thinking, but I, I know that you can't, you may have trouble getting your head around that, but I think Dennis Skinner was very much like thinking. But I do, I do, I do. Independent minded, you know, bloody minded and say what he thinks and sob the rest of them. And I like that. And he was a lovely bit of rough, or he would have been. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Your Majesty, we've got that. I mean, that's an awesome answer anyway, but we have got the, the divine question here, which we always ask on Rip It Up. Yeah, I don't is, do divinity. Well, I, unfortunately, you'll have to take that up with the Church of England, I think, um, which would be a totally different conversation altogether, I think. Mm. But um, I'm the head yeah. I, I know, but I you know. do have to. And did you, you know the churches then pay taxes? <laughs> Oh, you seem very excited about that. Yes, it's happy really good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm the head and they don't pay their taxes. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Well, you, 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 you've yes, heard you that can... Oh, okay, but we won't let the world know that you don't pay any taxes, Your Majesty. That's, that's absolutely yeah, fine. Yeah, no, don't do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll keep that in mind. Um, so, um, yeah, so divinity. Um, um, yeah, you'll have to take that up with the, the Archbishop of Can- Canterbury, then, I imagine. Um have a little conversation but our divine question is um for you the queen is what is your favorite cheese oh dear mm. not, a, not a fan of cheese lie cheese <laughs> that's surprise you didn't it Absolutely. yes i mean andrew's fond of mozzarella as you know he's a pizza file he paid mm. millions to get the right ingredients, but I'm not fond of cheese. Not only does it give one nightmares, as if Andrews wasn't as if Andrew wasn't enough. Um, it also makes one constipated. Not good at my age. <laughs> Gio, I recently what are you laughing at, young man? It's not funny. I recently got my hemorrhoid cream mixed up with my toothpaste. My bum smelled lovely, but the taste was awful. <laughs> like Gorgonzola, I would imagine. It made me rich. Does that answer your question? I, yeah, I believe so. I yeah. Think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, well, uh, that was a hilarious discussion on cheese. Um, my favorite. I don't think it's funny. On, what? <laughs> I don't think it's funny at all. Straining away. I, again, again, I, I don't write this stuff because uh, this <laughs> next part where it says my favorite segment on Rip It Up, clearly nothing I would actually say. Um, <laughs> oh, it's your, it's your most enjoyable <laughs> segment. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, but this has been a, a delight of a discussion. I know. And, uh, we it hasn't for me, but it has for you. It has been. It has been. Yes. Um, he has to say that to you. It's true. It's true. Uh, I, I don't want to get kicked out of the country. I need to. I need to be. Uh, be. Be. Be nice. Well, you need to behave, then, don't you? It's true. I do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, don't, don't forget the GoFundMe page. <laughs> right, of course. Don't worry. I'll. I'll. I'll go, I'll go there, and uh, and and put some funds on it. Yeah, um, I've already donated. Absolutely. Well, uh, for oh. closing. <laughs> I believe you're going to close our show out tonight with a performance of My Crown Jewels. But yes. before you do that, could you please let our viewers know where they can discover uh, more of your history, your work, where you'll be appearing in public next, all that stuff that they are definitely going to want to know. Well, um, my history is, is basically all over the internet. I mean, fucking hell, I can't do anything with that when I've been news you know so you can find my history anywhere as regards uh, instagram i haven't got an instagram or face well i have got a facebook account under the name of rita smith but um you know that, that's for private purposes so um i let a, a chap called clive Oseman uh, do my yes. facebook page um is a is a stupid boy um he's a bit simple um i, I thought that if you know if i gave him bit of work he would stop saying things about me i suppose but 
So yes, Clive Oseman on Facebook. Um, he's also got a page, Clive Oseman's Spoken Word on Facebook as well. Um, but I don't recommend it. You know, there's not much royal content on there. Um, but if you want to see me again, I mean, obviously you can watch the news. I'm on there all the time, even though I'm, yeah, I'm taking a low profile now. But, but you're, having a, you're having a public appearance on you. At I am, yes. Um, on May the 8th, which is a Sunday, uh, I'm going to have to skip church that day because um, that Clive Oseman fellow has actually got a, a one-man show. And it, it says it's a one-man show at the Blue Orange Theatre in Birmingham. Now, he says it's a one-man show, but it's not. It's a one-man and a one-woman show because I will be appearing. I make, oh, a, wow. uh, I make a, a fleeting appearance in this show. So if you would like to come and see that, it's at the Blue Orange Theatre. In Birmingham, which you know, it's it's well worth it. It's 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 a is good show. Really, um, I say so myself. Is there a website there where people can go and get tickets for, or just find out more about it, the show as well? Yes, it's um. I mean, I, I don't normally deal with this sort of stuff because it, you know I am I am ninety five years old, but I do remember it is Blue Orange Theatre, or one word dot. I don't know why the dot you know. Is, but dot uk and, and, and that's a source of irritation for me because the uk should be the uq the united kingdom yes you, you've probably got a point there i think i mean yes, but, so eighth so eighth of may at the uh blue orange theater you can see clive and the queen um that's absolutely brilliant um but before you perform my crown jewels for us, which I'm sure is going to be even better than the previous song. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I just got to say thanks to all our viewers for their absolutely fantastic questions. <laughs> and of course, thanks so much talking to us about Royal Life, Your Majesty. So, okay, you've been watching Rip It Up with the hilarious Clive Oseman as the Queen. So by royal appointment, here is the Queen performing My Crown Jewels. Okay, so before I do the song, again, it needs a bit of explaining because um, you're all a bit simple. Um, so you will be aware that Philip passed away recently. God rest his soul. Clean bowl for 99. There actually is middle stump hadn't been upright since Margaret Thatcher used to visit the palace, so it was sort of fitting, really. Um, but of course, being who I am, Suitors were quick to show their hands once Philip passed. Now, Silvio Berlusconi was particularly persistent. He asked me to one of his carabonga parties, or whatever he calls them. I was tempted, I must admit, I can tell you, but he was too old for me. I wanted a toy boy, Dennis Skinner. Um, um, <laughs> yes, uh, I'm now going to sing another song, and I apologise. No, 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 not for the singing. My singing is great. Philip once told me that I should go on Britain's Got Talent. No, I used to do a dance for this, but that's a bit much now. You may have noticed recently I'm a bit fragile. Andrew absolutely took my arm recently so that I could attend the memorial. And some joker shouted, good God, Andrew, from one extreme to the other. So I hit them with my walking stick. Um, anyway, here's the song. For this, I'm going to wear these earphones I wanted to use to get the answers off of Charles. But So not so that I can hide my voice, obviously. And um, yes, the song is a bit modern for my taste. So one of the servants is going to remind me of the words if I falter. So can you hear me, Tarquin? Hello? Okay, so please count to five. I know that's a difficult task for a servant. That's good. Now you can read, can't you? I know it's a dying art. Okay, no need for that. Okay, let's just do the song. Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> My crown jewels bring up the boys to the yard, and you know they're better than yours. Damn right they're 
better than yours. Don't touch them. You'll be punched by Charles. I cried you will bring all the boys to the yard. And you, you, they're better than yours. Damn right, they're better than yours. Don't touch them. Or you'll be punched by Charles. And uh, you want them. The essence. That's I am. What's Silvio's crazy for? He's lost his mind. You must be young. Under 89. La 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 la. Fuck off, Silvio. La 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 la. Young guns are waiting. La 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 la. Berlusconi. La 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 la. Get master, baby. You can't go straight to the middle. Can't you all bring all the boys to the yard? And you know they're better than yours. Damn right, they're better than yours. Don't touch them. You'll be punished by Charles. My can't you all bring all the boys to the yard? And you know they're better than yours. Damn right, they're better than yours. Don't touch them. You'll punch you hard. Empty your arm, mate. You want me to teach you? And I can't you all They can't be fair. Just no thieves get caught And they'll drop their heads off La 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 Fuck off Sylvia La 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 Young guns are waiting La 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 Bell is scary La 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 Get master baiting The crowd will bring all the boys to the yard And you know they're better than yours Damn right they're better than yours Don't touch them You get punched by Charles The crowd will bring all the boys to the yard And you know they're better than yours Damn right they're better than yours Don't touch them You'll punch you hard Oh, once I get involved Everyone will look this way so I must maintain my charm Same time, maintain my halo Just leave the fellow on let him think he has a chance. Secure us in your pants. Let's burst go and be gone. La 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 la. Fuck off, Sylvia. La 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 la. Young guns are waiting. La 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 la. Burst go and be La 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 la. Get master baiting. Crown jewels bring all the boys to the yard. And you know they're better than yours. Damn right they're better than yours. Don't touch them. You get punched by charms. Crown jewels bring all the boys to the yard. And you know they're better than yours. Damn right they're better than yours. Don't touch them. He'll punch you hard. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do hope you enjoyed it. That was fantastic, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. I'm sure Silvio is, is, has been told. Silvio is heartbroken. He really wanted me to go to that Carabonga party. Well, one absolutely nuts and entertaining episode that was, Mark. I'm sure you agree. But um, mm -hmm. what? Um, who have we got coming up next on the show? Yes, it was, wasn't it? Um, I still don't know what just happened, but uh, yeah, Kev, next time on Rip It Up, we've got Pat Cardi, who will be talking to us about all his life as a child Hollywood star and more. Wow. Yeah, that sounds like it's going to be a very insightful episode, actually. So yeah, I can't, I can't wait for this. So I'll catch you next time. Man. Yep, indeed.